WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets right around flat territory right now. S&P is positive by two points, trading at 3113. Dow Jones positive by one point, trading at 27,651. NASDAQ negative by three points, trading at 8563. Gold contract up a dollar at 1481.40. Oil up one penny at 5844 after quite a day to the upside yesterday. You had crude up more than $2 yesterday. Notes and bonds, a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year minus 4 ticks at 129.09. The 30-year minus 13 ticks at 158.10. And the dollar index with a little bit of weakness yet again. The dollar index off 242 ticks at 97.406. And we'll start things off, and we're going to start it off today with a little interest rates. We'll jump over here. Check out the interest rate structure. We're getting some action in the 10-year. Right now, that yield 1.796%. The yield on the 10-year, checking out the curve as things adjust in terms of the 2-year, the 10-year. Not that long ago, we had a curve inversion in terms of the yield inverted curve. Right now, the 2-year sitting at 1.586, the 10-year 1.798, and the 30-year 2.24%. Just a couple days ago, that 10-year had flashed down to 1.69 handle with bonds, some serious, serious volatility. We'll jump over to the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow 30. You can see the slide early this morning around the opening bell, and we've come right back to even territory. You back things up to yesterday. This is right where we closed yesterday's action, basically 27,648 in the Dow. S&P 500 trading at 3113. Much the same. We're about two points positive from where we closed yesterday. There's your crude oil chart. I back things all the way up to Tuesday. So two days ago, remarkable that we were, what is the price tag there? $55.40. How about a couple days and $3 in the price of crude as you inched up about a dollar from Tuesday to Wednesday. And then the big run happening from early Wednesday at $56.44. $2 to the upside, quite a price tag. In terms of other news just breaking, Saudi Aramco pricing their local IPO for shares, $1.7 trillion that company will be valued at. Whether that number has much credence, considering who will be doing that buying and the emphasis they'll put on it, we will see. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now with the Power Trading Hour. We'll be right back.